Hey there, friends. It looks like the ATF is being outed again. Not that we needed any reminder of what kind of jerks these people were and how unconstitutional and un-American that that organization is as it's being weaponized by the White House. But it would appear that internal documents from the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms show the zero tolerance guidelines the agency is using to shut down gun stores. Fox News Digital exclusively obtained the ATS Federal Firearms License Inspection Guidance I would like to remind everybody that they exclusively obtained it from Gun Owners of America. That's who gave that to Fox News. They don't mention them. They don't mention that right here in the story. But they obtained this from GOA from January 2022. That makes it easier to revoke gun stores' federal licenses per the ATF. The guidance says the agency has zero tolerance for willful violations that greatly affect public safety and ATF's ability to trace firearms recovered in violent crimes, and that revocation of the FFL's license is the assumed action with violations. A couple things I want to point out on that, and I don't need to go much further because this tells me everything that I need to know. Here we go again with a lot of these words in bills and different types of legislation that look completely harmless, but they're subjective. They use the word willful violations. How do you determine willful? Unless you have video of somebody doing something on purpose, how does the ATF arrive at this decision that the ATF, that the excuse me FFL did something willfully? They can't. They have no way unless they just stumble across some kind of a journal or diary where old Billy Bob says, "I am going to transfer this firearm with no background check on purpose because I want to." That's willful. How can the ATF deter? That's like if they wrote in there, I'm revoking this FFL's, FFL's license because they were naughty. Because they were bad. Not why they were bad. Not why they were naughty. They're naughty. Naughty FFL. So that's willful. So here we have this subjective term in there. The ATF determines what's willful. It's not identified. It's certainly not defined in here. So these people take a word and put it in there and they use it to take people's livelihood away. They are trying to take people's livelihood away. They have more than tripled the amount of revocations for FFLs in the last year than they've ever done before. And they're doing it on purpose. These people know that they're putting people out of business. These are not people that are out there putting guns on the street. I don't care what anybody thinks out there. The massive majority of FFLs out there are doing this trade to feed their families. It ain't a bunch of guys trying to put guns on the street in Chicago. That's not where the problem is. It's not in our back streets over here with these FFLs that are trying to put food on their own families' tables. Yet these people are willfully trying to put them out of business. How in the world do these people sleep with themselves at night? I'm going to break all this down more in a video probably tomorrow, but one of the things that states in there they say that the agency does not have to establish a history of prior violations to determine willfulness. There again, it's all subjective. So you can have been in business for 30 years and have a perfectly clean record of compliance with the ATF's rules. Mess up one time, and they are stating in their letter that your previous track record does not matter. It has no bearing on what you did today. So they're simply stating that nothing else matters. Our subjective opinion on what happens is what matters. Now, you know what this does. Within this organization, now they have incentivized people, not only from an incentive standpoint, to lock down as many people as possible and get them thrown out of, out of business, because that's now seen as a victory within the ATF. Putting a family-owned business out of business is a victory to them. It, it, it's a mark for them. It's, it's a victory. It's a yes. It's a point. So now when you got all these out-of-shape loons that come in from the ATF field offices in the afternoon, they start comparing their notes. How many did you shut down today? I didn't shut down any. What? Oh, Kevin over there shot three down. Gary, he got two. I got one. You got none? What a loser. What a loser. So now that guy goes out tomorrow 
hell bent on finding something that he can use to put somebody out of business so that he gets a check mark. And I can bet you another thing, GOA, if you're listening or anybody else with a FOIA request, I would love to see evaluations from these guys. I would love to see their evaluations because you know what I would like to see? I would like to see if the amount of businesses that they have put out of business as far as these FFLs are listed on their evaluations as being a positive mark, as being a reason why somebody got a promotion or a pay increase. I would love to see if that is one of the quantifying factors for getting that promotion or that pay increase. I would love to see that. I would be willing to bet it's probably on every single one. And I'd also be be willing to bet that people have a very low rate of all of these types of things that are done wrong or putting FFLs out of business or probably not getting promotions and are not getting pay increases that are due them just because they're not intimidating or trying to put people out of business. The final thing that I see in all this that is probably one of their side hustles that they're happy about but maybe they are too stupid to realize that they actually were getting this, but they're happy about it now. When you put an FFL out of business, you know what happens to their records? All their records that they've had, all their sales that supposedly are not being kept outside of the one billion that the ATF is already keeping electronically, illegally on their own electronic database. You know what happens to all these farms out there that all these FFLs have? When you go out of business, you have to send those in to the ATF. And guess what they do? They scan them and put them in with all the rest of them. So by putting all these businesses out of business, they're able to build on their own electronic illegal database of gun owners in America. I'm sorry, I thought this was America.